Hashem Hashem Nasev Nasliach. Very interesting Zohar um, regarding to the Kedusha, the holiness of Am Israel, especially when they protect their holiness of Brit, the holiness of Brit, their covenant of modesty, and uh, and us. This Zohar is brought down in Chol Israel, Parashat Ereb, the Yom Shelishi. So it's a Zohar that is mentioned in in the Vayat Hanan, Seder Vayat Hanan, but is uh, but is in the Chol Israel of Parashat Ereb, the Yom Shelishi. Amar Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Abba says, My kitty, what is it that the Pasuk says in Yirmiya? Oti azvu mekor ma'im chaim lacha lachsov lahem borot. Right? That those wells that are broken, they don't really give water anymore. It's a, it's a well that already, right, is messed up. What is that refer to? Oti azvu dahu man dem shaker baat reshima kadisha. This refers to somebody who um, this uh, who uh, uh, caused his breach, right, to be nullified from its holiness. That it has lost his kedusha. Which means a person who de- who doesn't follow the laws of modesty, mm-hmm. right? And especially a person who goes after goyot, loa lenu goes after uh, non yehudim, after the goyim, uh, goyot. This way, his or her is desecrating the breed, right? Especially men. Men, and what is it that could repair this? What is it that can repair this well, the well that has been broken? Right? Oh, sorry. What what is happening here? What is the meshaker? So another was a person who is desecrating his breed. By being with with na with uh, uh, with ladies outside of marriage, right? As if he is lying, and he is going to a reshut. He is going to a property. He is going to a reshut that doesn't belong to him. In other words, by him having relationships with a forbidden person. He is not in in his domain anymore. He is in the domain of a wicked person. Kama dat amar. How much is it mentioned on in the Malachi? Ubal bat el nechar. That means ubal bat el nechar. That a person who has this illicit relationship. It is as if that he is coming to have relationship with a non-Jewish lady. This person is called wells that are broken. That all the goyim that worship false gods they are called Borot Nishparim. They are called wells that have been broken, that they are dried out. Right? There is no more water to it. So a person who has this uh, has illicit relationships, right? He is called a, a Bor Nishpar. It's saying here all illicit relationship or illicit relation or relationship with non Jewish with, with Right now he's talking about non Jews. And is it all non-Jews, or is it the it's non-Jews that are... It's, it's, it's saying Abu all Zara. non-Jews. It's saying all non-Jews, and it's compared to Abu Dazara. So if someone has relationship with B'nai Noach, 
It's the yeah. same thing as someone that has a relationship with a Christian? I don't think so. No? Bene Noach are all 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 the mankind are Bene Noach. Bene Noach, I mean the the like today that we have Bene Noach, they go to Eretz Israel, they wear the keep Ah, they are they are those they are those who have learned about the yeah. seven laws of Noach. Right? But There's few of them. E- even those who don't know the laws of Bene Noach, they are still considered Bene Noach. No no, I'm talking about Hasidi Umut Haulam. Yeah. Hasidi Umut Haulam that follow the Bene Noach. They yes. don't believe in Yashke. Yeah. Islamic people. Let's say. They, everyone should refrain from illicit relationships. That is, uh, Zenut. Is this referring Zenut. to? What they cannot they cannot have a relationship with with uh, with with Jews. Um, you know that's not within the parameters of Kedusha Tahara. Makor. Uh, what is called the source of living father, uh, living water Maim Chaim that refers to Reshut Kedusha it's a holy domain Mehemunata Kedusha that this holy domain has emuna to Hashem and Mimela and in result of having trust to Hashem there is Kedusha and Holiness. Ve'ikre be'er mavu mevu'ei demain selilan nafir venazdinan minei that this bear, this well is called a bear that shamaim selulim yosim venazdinim mimenu Shemaim, sorry, Shemaim Selulim, that clear water comes out from this well right, and goes out to whoever wants it. So we spoke about broken wells that have, are dried out, there is no water. And now we're talking about Zohar HaGadosh, is talking about Meghor Maim Chaim. How could a person have a well that gives water to everyone? Kama de'av amar, that as if it says venuzlim min levanon, that the Mishnah says venuzlim mitoch berecha, that from your be'er you benefiting, you getting water. Me'ain ganim be'er ma'im chaim. Shekol elu apesurim nemar al ashechina. שכל השפע הקדוש עובר על ידה ועל שמה נגרעו כן בנות ישראל וואו all these good wells that give water are compared to Hashem if a person attaches himself with Hashem with the covenant of Hashem and watches his breed and he doesn't desecrate his breed then he, he achieves Maim Chaim which is called Benot Israel Another name is the daughters of Yehudim, that they are with modest, they are modest. Aval sitra achra ikrei, but the sitra achra, the impure powers are called borot nishparim, broken wells. Shehem borot, that they are wells, asher lo yachilu hamayim, that they cannot contain water in it. Right? They are so broken that they cannot hold water. Hainu shen ba hem yechulim la achil et ashefa. Cement. Which means if the bore, if the well is broken, cannot accept shefa. Wow. Cannot accept the energy, the 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 beracha from Agudosh Baruch Hu. Right? Because the uh, the wells are empty, they are broken, and they are tame impure. Tahaze, come and see. Nahara denahi denagid unafik. Right? Hanaar, that the lady, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that a child, right, that goes out. Ashkel lechol 
Ginta veravne lekol ginta that goes out and mashke and the water that goes out to the uh, garden verave lekol atar va atar and goes to every place this water that goes to every place kama ogimna this is as if the pasuk in the Bereshit refers to venar yose meden Lashkot at again. Wow. That ma if uh, if there is a lady who has modesty, is like a river that goes out from the uh, from its source and gives water to the trees to everywhere on its on its way. And uh, so that refers to so much blessings that a person uh, can attain by having senut modesty. That this liver could go on and on and get to a place that that place could, uh, can be called as Ber Ma'im Chaim. The well, so the water all comes and it stays in a place, right? And that place that started with modesty would would uh, would uh, attribute to a well. Umitaman they they zanu ila ilain vetatain. And from that place, it can water <coughs> the upper walls and the bottom world. Olam haba olam hazel. So from modestly, the blessing can continue so much. Kama dat amar, as the pasuk says, umisham ipared, and from that place it goes out. We call inun sitrin, the sitar semala, and all those, right? All those sedadim shel semol deinu kol mine katuv achisonim. That means all the uh, uh, all the writings. La mishtaqayna mehahu neviu deman neviin. Ela yonri meat kedei chiyotam. That all these wells that they go out, they go out in order to continue its Existence. Begin the inun. Mesitra de shahar amin. Lefi shahem misad ze shahar hamim. But by other nations. Igru borot nishmarim. Only among Yehudim their be'er is chaim. Among goim their be'er unfortunately is not chaim. Is not continuously right, becoming bigger and bigger. And, and and giving water to others. Oman dim shaker b'shema kadisha, and a person who desecrates the name of Hashem through illicit relationships, through desecrating his berit, through not acting with modesty. Be'ahu sitra it. It uh, it the bag. So that person would unfortunately become one with impurity. He attaches himself with sitra akhra, which is borot nishparim asher lo yachlu hamaim, which means now he is connecting his, himself to all these wells that are broken. And cannot contain water, cannot contain so if Yosef, blessings. If Yosef was Shomer, Shomer breed. How come he got thrown into the board? Ah, no. So, so that was the. Yeah, so. That, that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't mean that he wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, that he. That doesn't mean that he wasn't sinewed. He has sinewed. 
That was the plan how he had to go to Misraim. That was the plan. Hashem had a plan like that. That was for something else. That was because he judged his brothers and he said Lashon Hara right, and, and all that that he had to be. That happened. But the truth of the matter is that was all plan of Hashem that Yosef should be, should go to Misraim. Were you able to ever ask Harav the question about Adam and Chava? If Adam was learning Torah, what? Why did he deserve that his wife should sing? Ah, uh, no. Bernada, I need to find out. שאין בהם כוח להאכיל השפע בגרבם. So, ולא אילי לתמן. And the shefa of the brachot, of the blessings, cannot go to these places where there is immodesty, where those goyim and the yehudim are chas shalom with the goyim. Ve'ahu dezachei lenatralei And a person who is zoche uh, to protect his berit kodesh Zachei leishtaqaya me'ahu nevi'u denachala Then he would be zoche to get uh, that shefa on nachala the inheritance of uh, blessings from Hashem Be'alma den, be'alma den, and Wow, the reward of modesty is in, is in this world and in the world to come. hahu and he would be zoche, he would merit to the well that is in Olamot Elyon. Right, the Nagda. Birachan Ela Vetanatata that he should continue the blessings that Hashem is bestowing upon him, not in this world, also in the world to come. Which means all the words. Zakaha inu ihu be alma de en uba alma de ate. Praiseworthy is such a person in this world and in the world to come. Alda Ketiv, because of this is written. Ve'aita Tegan Ravei Uche Musa Ma'im Asher Lo Yezavu Me'evav. Praiseworthy is a person that through modestly, right, he receives this Ma'im Chaim. Va'ayle ma'an de meshakar b'rshima de'gad shay. Right? Woe on a person who lies, who is a meshakar, who is not being truthful with his covenant with Hashem, who desecrates his Kedushat Berit. Because this person is in a way is desecrating, is being untruthful with the name of Hashem. Not only that, the God in the high Not only that, right? This is not enough. Ela shagorem leota be'er ha'inu ha'shachina shelo titparech b'shefa harayla. Yes. Oh. Almost done. How come it's on the side then? What's in the middle? Over there? It's Zohar. This also has a Hebrew explanation. This is the Aramaic. This is Aramaic and Hebrew. Oh. That you understand better. Right? That a person who is chas shalom being untruthful with this covenant, he is lying to Hashem and therefore he is not receiving beracha from Shekhinah. And this person is called upon him. 
Ki husi shem ra al betulat Israel. In the Barim, says a person who is desecrating his berit lo alenu. It is as if that such a person is saying names that are bad against Jewish ladies, Jewish girls. Because Shekhinah is compared to Betulat Israel. And this is as if that she goes to a house of a stranger. Betulat Israel da Right. And as we explained by Rabbi Shimon in another place, that this refers to Shekhinah, that Shekhinah is compared to virgins, virgins right. among Jews, that they need to have Kedushah and Tahara. Just like a virgin needs to have Kedushah and Tahara, a person who wants Shekhinah, yeah, he needs to have Kedushah and Tahara. can be compared to a man. That's not a verb. That's, that's uh, a good why question. Is, why is May, specifically to a verb? Maybe because of modesty. Because modestly, mainly the mitzvah of modesty is by woman. Belachen, therefore, man de shavei tis kofei milen ad it tante kad mita. A person that is. The, the desecrates, uh, the, does things that are immodest against his, his first wife, causes a bad name. Right? Causes a bad name to get attached to himself. It is as if he is attaching a bad name to Hashem's name. Right, a person who is not, you know, who is not vafadar, which means who is not trustworthy with his wife and does things that are immodest, that uh, cheats on her, is as if that he is desecrating the name of Hashem. Dikhtiv, as the Pasuk says, Ki Hosi Shemra Al Betulat Israel. Wow. That he's he's making a bad name against Betulat Israel. Satam Shiramuzad Gam Allah Shekhina. This refers to Shekhina as well. Wa Ha and this goes on. Ki Had Amar that Ravikhiya says. In the name of Rabbi Yossi, Betula Yarata Sheva Verachot, that the Kala, that the Kala, that is the Betula, for her there is Sheva Verachot mentioned, right? A virgin Jewish oh, girl. If you marry someone that's divorced, there's no Sheva Verachot? No. It's much easier then. They <laughs> baracha b'sheva because the blessings from Hashem is seven times in seven ways. Begin the betulat Israel yarta sheva birchata birchan because of betulat Israel that Hashem is blessing him and she is I'm sorry he, uh, Hashem is blessing her. With seven blessings, Valda Igre Batsheva. And therefore, Shekhinah is also called Batsheva. Another name of Hashem is Batsheva. Shahare Sheko Laberachot Shela Kala, Akhatunahu Lefima Shemekabelet, Hakala Hailuna, Yashekhina. Ah, all the blessings that comes to a a Jewish lady at the time of marriage is the blessings of modesty that already Shekhinah designated for that person. Veshoel, Veit Teta Achara. 
and a lady that is a widow or divorced that already got married to a man man bir khatan delay where is the blessings come to such a person right she is not receiving shava barakhot so the answer is bir khata the boaz ve root then the blessings of boaz and root would come for those people right that the barakha of the nisuye boaz ve root was three barakhot three blessings for betula seven for for almana and gerusha three kama dat amar ayomer kol ham ashe beshar az ghanim adim he says in the root right ayomeru kol ham that everyone say said ashe beshar az ghanim by the gates of elders adim iten hashem et that Haisha ba al betach betecha kerachel ukelea ashebanu shetem et bet Israel hainu shenim razim shem berachot levene Israel atachtonim barechu otam. That with these blessings, a lady that was already married comes to the house of Rachel, comes to the house of Lea, that they built. Their homes based on the Dusha holiness of Bet Israel. And that refers to the blessings that Bene Israel also would receive, right, and uh, through them. Vedavra Betula Besheva Itparecha. Only Betula is blessed with seven blessings. Vela Itata Hara Perazeda. Ve'en isha acheret besot azeh leit barach b'shev v'berachot ma'ashekinah. Not other ladies are blessed with seven blessings. So from here we learn the importance of being right, modest in order to receive blessings. Baruch Adonai leolam. Amen v'amen.